And I want to welcome everybody into the Fifth Dimension Podcast with me, Evan McDermott. I want to thank you for tuning into this episode. And boy, what a world we're living in right now, huh? So, I wasn't planning on doing a political episode. This is not a political podcast, you could say, but sometimes spirituality uh, it intersects with politics because we live in a system of politics but I want to make this message that's coming in I wasn't planning on doing an episode about this I want to make this episode this episode uh, you're able to listen before the election after the election Christ two years from now this message is gonna transcend the borders of time we're going to put it that way. Break the matrix. Let's go full send. Why don't we? But why are we buying in to this toxicity that these people are feeding us? You know, American politics in particular, the perfect representation of duality. I had Anna Brown on my podcast gave a wonderful explanation on non-duality and living in all that is. And we encompass our entire lives around duality. Left versus right, Democrat, Republican. Oh my gosh, I need to attach my egoic identity to this external force to make it define me. Well, this is just playing into the hands of of the system itself, of the people who created this system, uh, the people at the top of this hierarchical system. And quite frankly, these people don't give a shit about us. They don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about me. And, you know, we're not going to create a world of love, peace, interconnectivity, and oneness by buying into the fear propaganda, the division, the duality that this system encompasses. We need to break away from the toxicity. There is no left versus right. It's an illusion. It does not exist. All we have is forward. All we have is interconnectivity, is oneness, is humanity, each other. That's all we have. What is it that we need right now as a collective? Ask yourself, what is it you need? What is it that we all need? We need healing. We need love. We need to be tapping into our natural state, who it is that we are. We need unity. What is unity? Unity is seeing yourself in every other person. doesn't matter who they are, what their backgrounds are. We need to detach from the egoic conditions of the mind. Stop identifying as a Democrat. Stop identifying with your nationality. Stop identifying with your race. Stop identifying with your religion. Stop identifying with your job title, with your name. All of the external bullshit that is placed onto you by society and start identifying with your purpose, who it is you are, what it is you're meant to be. What is your higher calling? Why are you here? Why are you living in this moment? And we are at a point where the duality is putting us at a breaking point. And I believe we're on the brink of evolving as a species to move past this duality. That is why the entire system, the entire dualistic system is crashing. All right. That is why we see so much chaos. You know, we are in the adolescent phase with all of these hormones raging and we're, you know, humanity is so young. We're so young, we're figuring shit out, and this system that we have created, it's, it's serving ego, it's serving duality, and we have a choice here to what we step into next. 
we can move into love, unity, healing, compassion, abundance for all when we choose to step into it ourselves. We have to break away from the constant BS that is fed to us. We have to. You have to make that individual choice. You know, you can vote for whoever you want. I don't care. Joe Biden, Donald Trump. Kanye West, whoever you want to vote for. I respect your perspective. I respect your expression. I respect your individuality, who it is that makes you you and why you are making that choice to go and vote for a particular candidate. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You need to be able to see yourself in every other person. You need to be willing to look past your uh, egoic identity attachments your triggers and say I love you I respect you your expression matters ultimately we have such a short experience on this planet the earth is 4 billion years old and how long do we have here maybe 80 years if we're lucky we need to detach from the idea that we are this immortal being, right? And we need to re recognize our mortality, first and foremost. Did you wake up today? Yeah, you're here. You're listening to your podcast. There's a million people every day who don't wake up. They go to bed, they don't wake up. You woke up today. Put a smile on your face. What about everybody around you? Did they all wake up today? Yeah. And maybe for some people, let's know. And I'm sorry to hear that. But the answer is, yeah, that's a great day. That's a great day. You're alive. Your family is alive. Do you have your physiological needs met? Yeah. You know, I'm tired of pretending that these people at the top of the hierarchical power structures give a shit about people who don't have their physiological needs met. We have an abundance of resources. Why is it that people go hungry? Why is it that people don't have shelter? We are all children of the universe doing the best we can under the circumstances that we are given. If there is somebody who is homeless and a drug addict and they tell you they're doing the best they can, are you not going to believe them? Are you living their experience? We are all one. We are all interconnected. This dualism separates us. We need to be grateful for the abundance that we have in our own lives and recognize that everybody is different. Everybody embodies their own perspective. See yourself in one another. You need to let go of the need to try and control everybody's reality, everybody's worldview. Because you can't. You can't. It's simply impossible. Nobody is going to think the way you do because they're not you. They haven't lived your experience. That is why your expression, your vote, is you. Great. Take pride in who it is you're voting for in the election. That's fine. I respect it. I mean, and, and there's something to be said that, you know, the way it's set up, it's all illusionary. You know, why do they put so much energy into elections? Why why are they, we fed this, this narrative of left versus right? It's to maintain the structure. It's to maintain the division. They need to keep us divided because united, we can create abundance. United, we can't be controlled. We can't be manipulated by fear. In that, there's some serious psychopaths who are putting out a control narrative, putting out a fear narrative, and we're at a point where we can choose to allow this 
or we can choose to take accountability for our own worldview, take accountability for our own individuality and recognize that, take the accountability to recognize that in every single person and want to be a beacon of unconditional love. Our natural state in alignment with nature, in alignment with one another. We're all extensions of nature. We're all children of the universe. We're all children of God. Why are we bickering over the silliest identity attachments? You know, how is it that we bring about unity and healing and love? We embody it within ourselves. We take the steps to heal. Dr. Tommy John, the eight pillars of healing. Belief in a higher purpose. Make that purpose love. Your own purpose. What is your unique purpose? Why are you here? Your relationships, are they toxic? Are they supportive? Are they loving? If they're toxic and they're not supporting and loving, cut them off. Set your boundaries. Do what it is you need to do. The food you eat. Do you make healthy choices for your body? Body movement. Are you moving your body, your temple, your gift in this world? from the universe to navigate around sleep another facet of it are you taking care of your body again we need to take care of ourselves individual accountability sunlight are we getting outside being in touch with nature being in touch with the universe being in touch with one another breath meditation breathe Let's take a deep breath together. I needed that. I'm getting a little fired up. But we need to be willing to heal ourselves. We need to be willing to heal, to let go. We come together through love, unconditional love. That's all we are. We need to infuse that into our system we need to build systems around unconditional love you know we keep searching for all of these political realm solutions to spiritual realm problems and we wonder why things don't work we wonder why we can't find the solutions we wonder why we leave people poor hungry and unable to survive and not self-actualize we wonder. It's because we're disconnected from spirit. And politics is a perfect example of that duality in place. You know, there is no place in the new earth for a lack of tolerance, for a lack of seeing yourself in one another, for a lack of love. We need to respect one another. Because if we don't, we're not respecting ourselves. You know, global interconnectivity can only be achieved through you. Can only be achieved through you self-actualizing, finding your own purpose, and helping others find their purpose. And you help others find their purpose by recognizing their self-expression. You know what is power, right? I think power is something that we see. I talk about these power structures. The people at the top of this, this structure, they don't have power. They have an illusion of control. That is not power. That is not what real power is. They, they've fed us this system, which is an illusion, so that we can be disconnected from our own inner power. Your inner power is your self-actualized potential to make a difference in this world. Finding your unconditional love, being content with who you are, living the life you're meant to live and contribute in your own unique way. Self-actualized people, loving people, interconnected people hold true 
power that can never be taken away. That is what power is. It's inner power. That's what all religions were founded off of, yet they became institutionalized. The power of God is within. It is not outside. There is no structure that can be built in this egoic, third-dimensional realm. Politics a perfect example that has power over you. We place the power we we place the the illusion that we don't have power over ourselves by buying into the fear, by buying into the division. We need to find the answers within ourselves. It's going to be the artists, it's going to be the visionaries who create this new earth because they are willing to tap into their inner power for the greater good of humanity, for the evolution of humanity. This is how we move forward. You need to be a part of this or we're not going to evolve as a species. And what happens when you fail to evolve, when you stagnate, it is exactly what we are seeing. We are in the growing pains. We are still growing. People are awakening to their inner power, but the system is stagnating because too many people still live within it. If we're going to save the earth, we're going to save ourselves. If we're going to be open and tolerant and loving, which is what we all want, we have to do it ourselves. We have to. And there's so many people that I know that, you know, think they're incredibly virtuous and think that what they're doing is censoring people, not tolerating other views, calling people deplorable is doing a service it's not it is it is a grand paradox in the sense that so much of social justice has even been immersed within this dualistic structure real social justice is healing and loving despite what your ego might be triggered by true social justice is promoting unity and love and tolerance for all beings we need to come together we need to open ourselves up to global interconnectivity to every perspective to every worldview not shunning any ideas and respecting all authentic expression now, I don't condone any sort of hate speech. I don't condone hatred in the slightest form. But how do you combat hatred? Do you fuel the fire with more gasoline and watch it ignite? Or do you put it out with love? Hate can only be countered with love. When you counter hate with hate, it's a grand pendulum that swings. What goes one way always comes back the other way. The universe is karma. It's nothing but karma. If you put hatred out towards somebody for their expression, regardless of what that hate, why you're, why you're doing it, it doesn't matter why you're doing it. If you're putting it out there, it will circle back. It will come back usually tenfold. So we need, 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 need. To express with love we need to be connected we need to come together and once again it's all going to start with you it's got to start with you looking within finding it within yourself to be tolerant to be open to be willing to move forward into the grand unknown that is the whole spiritual journey that is all of life the grand unknown you're on the hero's journey and you're going to face tests Things are going to trigger you, but trust in love, trust in the healing, trust that the universe has your back because it does. And we will create a new earth when we can come together as one and we can combat the fear mongering. We can combat what it is that these people at the top are trying to do to us. 
We can combat it with love and we will combat it with love. Love will win out. Play the part. Play your role. Live by your purpose. Be who it is you're meant to be with full authenticity. Do your part. The world needs you now more than ever. Look at the collective energy being put into this cycle of politics, the election, the perfect example, and be willing to detach from it and approach it from love. That is what it's going to take. And it's a tall task, but it starts at the individual level. It really does. You have to embody it within yourself. Now, I want to take these last couple minutes here to breathe into our heart space. We're going to embody love right here, right now, in this moment. Let's take some deep breaths. Put your hands over your heart and let's breathe right into the heart space. Feel the gift that your heart is. Keep breathing into it. Keep breathing into this heart space and feel the gift that your heart is. As long as you are alive, your heart is beating. You have the gift of life. You have the gift of love. Let's fully embody the sense of gratitude for our heart, the sense of gratitude for life. Keep breathing into the heart space. <sighs> and let's embody love in this moment. What does it feel like to be loved? What does it feel like to love? Unconditionally. Feel love for the, the beautiful, unique being that you are. For the beautiful, unique purpose that you serve. For the beautiful, unique self-expression and gifts that you give to the world. You are a gift. Every person you come in contact with is a gift. We are all love. Feel this love in this moment and let it guide you. Let it move you forward as you navigate the world because it's what the world needs. It needs you to be a beacon of love. It needs you to live your self-actualized truth in this moment. I love you. That's going to wrap up this episode of the Fifth Dimension Podcast. Be sure to subscribe. Give us a rating. And uh, I'll see you next time. So long.